on this Good Shepherd Sunday, we are called to reflect on the profound image of Jesus as a Good Shepherd, caring for his flock with the unwavering love and devotion. Jesus is telling us he would give his life to protect and save us. At the same time, he has the power to take his life back, which he did. This shows us how much Jesus cares for us. It also shows us how powerful he is, that he has the power to lay down his life and has the power to take it up again. Jesus told us that even all the hairs on our head are numbered by our Heavenly Father. Do any of us know ourselves that well? When I think about shepherds, I remember eight years ago when I climbed Mount Sinai, which I, I am very glad I did. It is very rugged and steep, and on the way down, I saw a shepherd with her sheep on a nearby hill. It was just getting dark. She started playing her flute and headed in a direction away from where we were. The sheep fell in line following her. All the sheep trusted her. They are not worried, no anxiety. And we witnessed how much they depended on her. It was a beautiful scene. It us to trust him and follow him. Sometimes following him can get a little frightening. We don't know where he is taking us or what he might ask of us. Sometimes when he takes us through the desert, our shepherds need to do at times when they want to bring their sheep to better grazing ground, we ask, why is he doing this to us? Here is a good example of the way God does his work. The Joseph from the Old Testament trusted in God, even when his brothers attempted to kill him and later sold him to Egyptian merchants. <coughs> he continued to trust in God, even when he was unjustly imprisoned in Egypt. Despite his innocence, he remained faithful and trusted in God during his 13 years in prison. Through these trials, he eventually rose to the position of second in command in Egypt. God always leads us like this. Sometimes we wonder why our family members, friends and co-workers or those in higher positions have treated us in a certain way. Perhaps God is guiding us through difficult paths towards a higher position, a better future, or more importantly, peace of mind. I'm sure each of you has a story to share about it. In his letters, St. Peter discusses the role of suffering in the Christian life. Peter was a real authority on the subject. 
he gave up everything he had to follow jesus he went to rome and was crucified upside down and died he endured all this because he loved jesus so much he must have died a happy man if any of you are experiencing difficult times in life now i would suggest that you read the two books of peter in the new testament they are the best books of all peter says you can't escape from suffering in life why so why try in fact since you have to suffer anyway why not do it for jesus christ and glorify his name through it the prophet isaiah writes about the good shepherd a bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench he will faithfully bring forth justice dear friends yes jesus walks with us confronting our fears enduring with us all the things that we find unbearable sometimes difficulties come from all different directions threatening to be overwhelming like a pack of wolves threatening their chosen victims it is easy to feel alone and defenseless with no nowhere to turn in our daily lives it is easy to be so preoccupied with our problems that we do not hear the voice of jesus but that doesn't mean that he has stopped calling it is in our darkest most fear filled moments that he is closest and most concerned with our safety those are the very times when our faith is tested perhaps to its absolute limits anxieties and lack of security can be very frightening <clears throat> yet these are precisely the times when jesus is saying trust me i am the good shepherd i will keep you safe but to recognize his voice we have to be with him listen his voice jesus invites all of us to be good shepherds to one another according to each one's vocation in life all of us are called to be deeply concerned about each other and committed to each other's welfare <clears throat> by your words deeds and example we can help to show christ's love to others who feel they are unwanted and unloved today's biggest problem is not lack of money not poverty but the existence of those who are dehumanized unwanted and unloved today jesus christ the good shepherd invites us to continue his ministry which he has already begun with his disciples and he says trust me i am the good shepherd i will keep you safe amen